It's just sitting there. Huh. There's no way there's anybody here. Yeah, there's not. I don't even think there's power. There's no power. Good morning. <laughs> I always start to think about, you know, the people when I see stuff like this still in here, you know? winter coats. <laughs> I've been in and out of abandoned houses pretty much my whole life. There's a certain rush that comes with it. For me, it's mostly about emptiness. There's something about emptiness that I've always identified with and just anywhere where humans aren't where they once were, I find fascinating. There's a stag lager, the people's beer. Look at this. Wow. Look at this, I don't know what's happening in the concert here. Let's see if we can peel it back. Yep, there's writing on the back. I just ripped the photo, but William Lyon Mackenzie King at Diefenbaker, opening c and &E at Bankshell, 1943. There's some online forums and stuff like that where like-minded individuals like us share information with uh, people that we've come to trust. And so I'm just signing into the Urban Exploration Resource website. You have to earn membership by sharing other locations with people and earning trust. And there's 2,038 entries for different abandoned buildings in Ontario. The database has given us the entry point right here along the driveway. I definitely like my popcorn poked. We're all trespassers, you know? We're all rule breakers, everyone on this website, pretty much. That's caused me a lot of grief over the years. In fact, even in this film, this film has caused me to lose membership on one of the forums. And the reason that is, is because I brought you with me and somebody didn't want you there, to be blunt. Let's find out what happens. No trespassing signs to an explorer. Usually, is, it's pretty much a green light for us. We've been caught a handful of times. There's varying degrees of caught. For the most part, trespassing in Ontario, it's the equivalent of a speeding ticket. It's $65. It doesn't go on your criminal record. Oh, shit. Vehicle. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There's a truck parked in behind us. Let's just wait a minute and see what he does. Yeah, you know what I mean? Oh, of course. Absolutely. Everybody doesn't want people roaming around their property, sure, right? Sure, sure, sure. Because you don't know what's going on. Oh, of course. And sure. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying I don't like the situation. Oh, okay. sure. Is that That's right? okay. Yeah, sure. Don't worry. We'll get it. Definitely not the last time I try and pull into that driveway. If that makes me a bad person, that makes me a bad person. The anxiousness kind of builds as you get close. This might be it on the left. This is it on the left. Yeah, the rush is building. Look back at the neighbors, Nicole. Why don't I uh, film for a bit outside? 
and you guys can just like and wait to see. No, no, we're we're sticking like, to the plan. On the back. The white truck kept going. Come now and come fast. Everybody inside immediately. Don't let this slam. Hello, is anyone here? Believe if you're here. You can feel the sogginess of the floor. Careful where you step. Get the, get the thing out of the side. And then, Nicole, for the first few minutes, I want you on windows, OK? Making sure none of the neighbors are coming from. There's a neighbor across the street, and there's a neighbor. OK, there's a neighbor. Just because it's all so fucking perfect. I'll just touch it up. Nicole, are you on windows? Okay. I, I try not to move stuff too often and position it, but if I find something that's out of the way, I will put it in a position where I can shoot it. This place is almost, everything's already in position. Don't walk into the shot. You walked into the shot. This is the B side. Flip it around. Nineteen thirty nine, forty three, forty seven, forty eight. May every birthday as it comes and every day as well bring added cause for you to feel that life is pretty swell. All right, so I'm just gonna uh, log into my blog and do the post for that time capsule house that we explored. And uh, I wrote a real quick narrative for this one, very short. It just says, welcome to the time capsule house, one of Ontario's most interesting and well-preserved abandoned farmhouses. What fascinates me isn't just what the building used to be until its end date. What fascinates me is what's happened to the building since the end date. Oh. There is not much to see up here, but I always want to see every nook and cranny of a location, no matter how disgusting and pointless it might be. There's a teddy bear with his face caved in. I'll let you uh, step in and shoot this. This is beautiful. A nice bed over in the corner, completely rotting with a nice suitcase on top of it. Bed with suitcase. That is classic stuff right there. Oh, it's a record player. We often have no idea why people leave so much stuff behind to rot, and that's why I love to do this. Usually starts with death, and then the cost of demolition, there's tax issues, there's family disputes, legal disputes, but that's where we come in, because the reality of it is you can't take it with you. And the way we learn about these people is through the stuff that they've left behind. And sometimes it feels like urbexers are the only ones that care. Abandoned places are like a playground for all sorts of different people. Some people use it as a place to strip copper or to, to loot, to feed drug habits, you know? And so all of that to me is part of the story. Where our car's not on the actual property, it's somewhere else so we don't look suspicious. Just look out, that, look, look out the window, just look out the window. Don't move, don't move. It's Very a nice. zombie apocalypse. But don't... <laughs> feels great. It makes me feel even better when I'm around all of this chaos and I'm all put together in these gorgeous heels and my stockings and everything and it's just a complete mess. Yeah, we just give the photos back to our models who are also our friends and I put them on my Flickr account. It's just all for fun. I guess for, for myself and my friends, we like to appreciate the 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 beauty in the, in the imperfection because I think the imperfection it gives it character, right? You know, a place like this is most unique at night. It sort of evokes the most uh, emotions. You can spend hours looking through people's belongings and what did they do, uh, what was important to them, what happened to them to make them leave.
You know, it's neat how you can kind of cast those rays onto the wall. The light just helps me record those places and those memories in an interesting way. So this is it here. Just pull right in front of the this building. This is where my personal history comes into it. In the late 70s and early 80s, I spent a lot of my childhood here in the summers. I remember standing right here as a as a kid, and my grandpa was standing right there. He'd be drinking and he'd be smoking, and my grandma would be, you know, they were always separate, and he would stand right there and he'd say, this is our secret, boys. We're not gonna tell Nana. And uh, I think of that every time I come back here. My papa's liquor bottles and all these things, you know. My actual, my troubled past kind of started here, actually, on this, on this road, in this area. I, uh, it's hard to talk about, but I actually suffered sexual abuse as a child in this, uh, in this area under these circumstances, and, and uh, it, it kind of broke me, and I kind of went off, I kind of went off the rails, and I hated the world, and I hated myself, and it showed in my actions, and uh, yeah, I, I spent uh, I spent my teenage years living on the streets, committing crimes, you know, uh, in and out of jail, and that's probably the most honest answer as to why I do this. It's uh, it's how I felt as a kid, like an abandoned house would feel. We're uh, about 15 minutes, I guess, down the trail into the old Burwash prison, just south of Sudbury. This used to be an entire town that the prisoners built, and. Uh, the only building that remains is the Camp Bison building, and that's where we're headed to now. Prisons are probably my favorite thing to explore other than farmhouses. There's no billboards, there's no lineups, there's no there's no commercialism about it. It's it's raw and real, and it's falling apart just like us, and and eventually will be just like this building. This thing is eventually just going to crumble and be swallowed by Mother Nature, just like I am. So here I am, center stage. Doesn't get any better than this. Give me an abandoned prison any day. You know, the uh, the old me that did time in those facilities and lived on the streets and committed crimes and all that shit I did before I was 18. All the suicide attempts. I'm just so happy to be here to experience this. And it's just a gift. I don't look at my body like that. I just see it as just like a vessel for me to, you know, do things with. But people see it and they're like, there's a canvas right there. And that's amazing. <laughs> it makes me blush, but I feel good about it. Yeah, keep your mouth open a little. It's moments like this where, you know, other people, when I tell them, they ask me what I'm doing this weekend and I tell them they just think I'm insane. What, why would that possibly, how could that possibly be an enjoyable experience? But. How is this not? This is beautiful. I don't believe in God or anything like that, but in a church I always feel a certain energy and it's sort of giving and warm. And in an abandoned prison, you can always kind of feel this downtroddenness, this sadness. All these years later, I can sit in the window of the second story of an abandoned prison in the middle of nowhere and just have it all. Next weekend, it's something else. It's Life is precious. You gotta soak up every minute. Just like this building, death is inevitable. But what are you gonna do while you're here? I could watch the sparrows and swallows fly all day.
want to know your secrets. Let there be no fear. I want to go inside. I'll leave if you're here. Knock, knock.